And hello everyone, and welcome once again to The Longest Journey. We're getting kind of near to the end now, to the end of the journey. If you remember last time, April had a confrontation with Jacob McAllen, the head of the Vanguard and the Church of Voltec, and was captured by him and was only rescued by the timely arrival of Cortez. At which point we found out that Cortez and Jacob McAllen were the Red and Green Dragons, respectively. And McAllen was apparently trying to take over Brute Both Worlds to bring about the Age of the Dragons. And why the Dragons are trying to do this when they're the ones who created the balance in the first place is anyone's guess. But anyway, that was his goal. Uh, Cortez and Jacob McAllen fought and fell off the top of the MTI building, apparently to their death. At least they seem to be gone. And... Cortez watches stopped, and April takes that to mean that Cortez is dead. Uh, she then goes to Burns Flipper to see if he has decoded the map, and found out that yes, he has, and that the entrance to the Guardian's realm is somewhere near the space station Morningstar. And in order to get there, she has signed up as a colonist to go to another colony that will change ships there. Oh yes, I should probably point out that Burns Flipper was also killed by the Vanguard. So, there's been a lot of bodies stacking up at this point, and the Vanguard are really not nice people. But, let's catch up with April as she arrives at the Morningstar space station and continue the longest journey. Well, here we are at the Morningstar station, and it has that whole Blade Runner thing going for it. All big money trap. That's the only reason they keep the colonists waiting here for at least six to eight hours, to maximize their spending potential. Is that the Earth out there? Mother Earth. Yep. Everybody looks tired and lost. Alright. We have to find our way to see where the guardian is being held. If you got more than one suitcase with you, this is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. It's the ladies room. Uh, yeah, obviously. Fish and trips. This is a taco place. Take your time, April. Just walk over there as slowly as you can. A bunch of ads awards. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and make fun of the shops until she gets there. Um, Lobos? I can probably a taco place. Locked! It's locked! There are 300 women here and the ladies room is locked? Good God! Yeah, isn't that always the way, April? I guess you're going to have to go into the men's room. This is one journey I prefer not to embark on. Deep breath... Try not to breathe. Well, this isn't as long as some journeys, April. What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, we got a couple of things here. We got some stalls, but let's ignore them. Um, we have this machine on the wall, which is a dispenser. Instant heat. For that special moment when manly vigor is required. Fast. Ha! Their secret revealed! It's not all of our secrets. Able. Some of us have no need for such things. But. To purchase instant heat, the number one source of manly vigor, please insert a cash or credit chip now. Of course. Now, okay, I will point out that our inventory has thinned out a little bit. Um, one thing I wish to point out is that we no longer have the photograph of April, Emma, and um, Charlie. I'm not sure why. She's kept her diary. She kept her cash card, of course. Her fake ID is gone. I guess we turned that in when we became a colonist. But she no longer has the picture of her, Emma, and Charlie. I'm not sure 
what that says, but yeah. Thank you for purchasing Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor. Please be advised that excessive use of Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor, can cause involuntary spasms and discharge. And we know what that means, don't we? Okay. Now we need to move this trash can out of the way, because it's there and we need to move it. I feel like I'm spending my entire life pushing trash from one place to another. Weirdest thing, that. Oh, come on, April. It's only the second time hey, you've pushed a trash can. Hey, looky. It's a hole in the wall. Cleverly concealed. You gotta hand it to them. They know security. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's locked. Screwed tight. Curse the day I traded away my screwdriver. Well, we got Crow out of that deal, remember? Besides, there's the old trick of using a coin as a screwdriver, isn't there? Now we can get in. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like it leads into a larger ventilation or service duct of sorts. And I want to know what kind school of design puts display screens in ventilation ducts. All right. Um, we're here, or we've come from here, and we're somewhere in this duct. Um, there's an exit there we can't get into. There's two exits we can't get into. Exit 1 and exit 2. We go to exit 2, see we can peek in and see this guy in here. It's one of the station guards. And he's got the same display on his wall and a lot of monitors and some coffee he keeps drinking. So, let's head on back. And go to the other place is here. Hmm. There's a security camera here, which has a cable on it. Where are you going, April? That was weird. It's a surveillance camera. Yeah, we it's got It's connected to the station feed via an optical cable. Yeah, we got that, April. Let's try unplugging that cable. And we have to wait for him to see us before we can leave, so... For some reason... What's going on? Who's there? Hey, hold on, stop right there! And this guy doesn't think it's suspicious that someone's walking through a corridor, apparently. All right, since he's out fixing that cable, let's go in here. Now, we don't have much time, because in a few seconds we're going to see that start working again. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our manly vigor, our instant heat, and put it in his coffee. Is one enough? Ah, what the hell. I'll use all of them, just in case. It's not as if I'm going to be needing them myself. Of course not, April. What the heck are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. And yes, we have to let ourselves get caught You're going in this back point. to the pen with the other colonists, Missy. All right. So we're back here again. Now, we get to go do the whole same thing again. Because obviously they didn't bother to ask, how the hell did you get here? So we're going to go see what our little escapade just did. Alright. Now 
now we just have to wait for him to drink his coffee again. And how is he drinking coffee with that helmet on, really? This doesn't taste right. I feel... Mary, mother of God. I really feel... God damn. Madam Joy's pleasure suites on the promenade had better be open. This constitutes an emergency. How did he drink that with the armor on? All right. Now he's out, and he's going to be indisposed for a while. So let's start by checking this computer over here. Did you check this computer? Hmm. I think this is a registry of all the prisoners on the station. Let's see. Yeah, cell block registry. Cell number one, Agusty Bryan. Cell two, Ruth Pawani. Cell three, Morgan Enger. Cell four, Hammer Hansen. Cell five, reference G. Holloway. G. Holloway? Gordon? That's gotta be it. The Guardian's in cell number five. All right. If you look at this computer, uh, he's playing solitaire. Um, well, we can go over and look at this monitor. Now, this shows where security guards are on duty. There's a security guard on duty here, here, and here, and no one's in the rest area. We can order these people on and off duty from this room. Now, if you remember, this is the room we're in right here, if you remember what the other map looked like. So, we're going to have the cell guard guy go off duty. Roger that, Central, taking a break. Out. And he goes to the rest area. All right. Now, before we leave, we need to look in this coat. There's something in one of the pockets. It's a short and thin cylinder. A magnetic key, I believe. That might come in handy. You think? All right. Now, remember, we just came out of this room. Now, if you remember from that map, the entrance to the cell block is obviously over here. And the guy we want is in cell block 5. So we need to get to him down here. There's a lock here. Let's open it. And use the key we just stole. Hello. You are a hard man to find. You? You speak Navin. Are you from Arcadia? No, but I have had a lot of practice. I I'm a shifter, like yourself. And as it turns out, the next Guardian, although I'm currently in denial. April. April Ryan. Adrian, have you come to free me? Or to question me more? I'm with the good guys. Well, I'm all that's left of the good guys. The balance, it is collapsing. I did not want to leave my... the Guardian's realm, but I... I had to. Nobody's blaming you, but if we don't get moving soon, we won't have time to save the world. Worlds! Can you believe I'm still not getting my head around that concept? What do we do? You just keep close to me, and let me worry about that, okay? I've had some practice in subterfuge lately. I will do as you say. Okay, here's the problem. April will run. Aiden here walks slowly. So whenever you try to go anywhere, he's always going to be behind you a good ways. Um, what we need to do is we have to get him to where the escape pods are, because we need to be able to leave here and get out to the entrance to the realm, which remember is near the station. It's not on the station. So what I have to do is get the guy in the out here near the airlock to leave. Now, only one guard can be off duty at a time. I don't know. Maybe they aren't allowed to associate with each other in the rest areas. So let's put this guy back on duty. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. And 
they don't seem to think it's odd that somebody in charge is telling them where to go. And let's tell the guy at the airlock to go off duty. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Okay. Now we can get to, again, we're here, so we have to go out past the cell blocks and to the air, airlock. Let's get going. And remember, Aiden is going to be very slow. You see, he still hasn't made it to this room. Okay, he ran straight through it. Okay, this is the guy on du the guard we put on duty, but he isn't looking behind him. Not a very good guard. And again, even though April can run, can we pick it up a little bit, Aiden? All right, what we need to do here is find the appropriate once these people start to start walking into position. Now these are escape pods all around this, what they call escape pods. From what I understand, this is a gateway to the Guardian's realm, a wormhole, something like that. It's somewhere outside the station? Not far from this metal box, no, not far. I can sense it. It calls to me. Perhaps, perhaps a day's journey on foot. We'll be going a lot faster than that, trust me. Stay here while I get everything ready. Don't go anywhere, okay? I will not. Believe me when I say I do not want to go anywhere. This place frightens me. All right. So we have to figure out what we need to do here. Um, this is the control panel. Take your time, April. Load pod. That sounds like something we need to do. <laughs> All right. Now notice that this pod here... It's a single person pod, used to maneuver outside the station to do general maintenance and, um, clean windows, I guess. We used to run simulations of similar pods back in school, just for fun. And it has a little red light on it. Oxygen filter? Damn, the filter is missing. All right, so we need to get a filter for this pod before we can use it. So let's go find a filter. And to do that, we have to go back to that original room. A lot of running around through the station here. I don't know why we just can't go into that door. We have to touch it and use it.
All right, let's see what we can do over here now. We need to get to the cargo bay so we can get a um, air filter. So let's send this guy back on duty. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. And tell this guy to go off. Pick a break. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. All right. Now, if you note from the map, the cargo bay is down to the left. It's down here. Let April run all the way down here. All right. Now, notice there's a lot of boxes here. We have to figure out where the box we want is. So we can look at this terminal for that. Now, April, you couldn't see her. She was down there. It's an up here. inventory database of all the parts stored in the cargo bay. Yeah, the lost arc is probably stored back there somewhere. But um, let's use this. I'll do a quick search for the oxygen filter I need. Pods, spare parts, oxygen filters. Bingo! They've got a bunch of them in stock stored at L109. L109. Okay. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through all me looking all these boxes. It's this one back here. Yeah, the only way to find them really is to um, look at every box one at a time until you get the one you want. E1489 to 102 and L109. L109, that's the one. So we can get that. There we go. See, we just picked it up. That's what an oxygen filter looks like. Oxygen brick. Don't know why they call it that. Okay. So now we need to clear the guy out of the way of the airlock again, and we'll be ready to go. Yeah, this is kind of an adventure gamey piece of the game in that you have to do a lot of running back and forth. Um, the balance gets a little off between storytelling and gaming bits in this game sometimes. And I wished April, there was a way to tell April just to run by default so she could just slowly walk up there. fast travel. The game really needs a fast travel mode. To say that I've already been here, I know how to get there. Just let me go. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Alright. Now we're ready to go. And again, this guy's not kind of oblivious to anything going on behind him, but I guess that's good. All right, let's see if we can put our oxygen brick into the And we're ready to go now. Notice we have a green light. Maple up here. Launch pod. 
Okay, we're about at the end of this, so I want to go ahead and launch. Step into this machine. What is it? It's a pod, a sort of exoskeletal spacesuit. Oh hell, like you have any idea what I'm talking about? It will protect you when we travel to the gateway, that's all you need to know. How do I use it? Well, you don't. Or at least you don't. I will launch myself right behind you, and then I'll come to get you. We'll go through the gateway together. I understand. One thing, April? One thing, April. When we get to my... to the Guardian's realm, we may be separated, and I must give you a warning. Of what? Of the three trials before you get to the Well of Making. There are more trials still? I thought that since I had the disc... The disc is but the key, and a replacement for the disc that was broken when I... when I deserted the tower. You will still need to prove your worth to the balance, that you can take the responsibility of being Guardian for a thousand years. Okay, so tell me, what are these, uh, three trials? The first trial is a trial of might. Defeat a powerful enemy using your talents in war and in magic. Great. I have absolutely no magical or warrior talents whatsoever. And the second one? The second trial is the trial of spirit. Face that which you fear the most, the darkness in your heart to go on. Spiders? You may not even be aware of your deepest fear, April. It is locked in your heart. The third trial is the trial of matter. To get to the well of making, you must cross an apparently insurmountable barrier using whatever means at your disposal. That sounds like the easiest one. So that's it? Pass through those trials and I'm home free? Yes. Like I said, there is a chance I might not be there with you. And in that case, you must make your way towards the tower. Okay, got it. Now... Let's hurry up before somebody finds us here. Go into the pod and don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Alright, like I said, this is pretty much the end of the chapter and this is kind of an automated thing from this point forward. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade out after this and when we come back next time, we will be facing the final episode of The Longest Journey. Yes, The Longest Journey is about to come to an end. So, until next time, this is Dennis, this is Tan's Tavel, the Preview Gamer, and I will see you next time for the conclusion of The Longest Journey. And I will see you then.